Chris in Atlanta, you're on the Run of Face show. Um, hey, um, Ron, I normally agree with you, but um, as a as a gay guy, and I've, I'm 39, I've been out of the closet 20 years, and you were talking about um, Fez's uh, um, sex fantasy in the shower. Yeah. Most of, I'm a top, most of, uh, almost all of the bottoms that, that I've done, um, they come when you're fucking them. So this is all news yeah. to me. I had no idea. Did I, you, Fez? No, not without the help of at least a reach around. No, no. Usually the guy, even if he doesn't have a full heart on, he'll come before I do. You know, he'll still say, "Yeah, keep going." And what he's doing is jerking himself off, or, um, or this is, I don't know. Maybe a talent kind of embarrassing to admit on national radio, but I can also, you know, blow him at the same time. But uh, wait, but how are you going to blow him if you're banging him in the ass? Because I'm I'm five six and a half, and I'm like 150 pounds, and I've got a six pack, and I can just, you know, if I lift if I lift up his ass, and you know, as long as he's not, you know, as long as he's got more than four inches i can i can do it i bet so, you still how are you getting your head around you you've got to like drop down to one side and no, come back up missionary, missionary style so his legs are over my shoulder oh yeah, okay I think oh, okay oh hello <laughs> <laughs> is that your gay voice thing how is that too much to any, i'm sorry i'm sorry oh go ahead no go on about oh, the, the blowing and the fucking Basically, any any gay dude um, without a, a you know that's that's not tall, without a beer belly can do can do that. That'd I be mean. you, Fez. No, I, do, <laughs> I, I have the belly, belly. It's just not from beer. And can I, can I touch on one other thing? I know you guys weren't talking about it. I, I don't want to get all um, serious, but Fezzy, I'm 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 a, an attorney, um, criminal defense lawyer for 15 years. Um, and I gotta say, the F word is my, and I, out of respect, I'm not saying it for you, mm -hmm. but it's my favorite word in the whole world. I mean, I, every single one of my friends, a, if they call me up, I, you know, I see their number, answer the phone, I'm like, what's up, faggot? <laughs> and they're like, I thought you were gonna say it. <laughs> I, well, I, Twice. I'm, Wait, how do you I, say it to them when you answer the phone? What's up, faggot? Okay, thanks for being a drop. Is it like this? Like, hey, what's up, faggot? Like, sort of like that. You're not gay. You're we, not allowed to get away with it. Could we say that to Fez and it would be cool? I think you ought to embrace it, Fez. I would love to embrace it. I just hate it so much. What do you hate about I mean, it? I actually, I, I don't know if you ever got it. Like, after you came out, I sent you a nice long whatever on, uh, on the iBank um, saying, if, you know, if you need a friend or you need... Um, and believe me, I don't, I'm not. Have you ever pulled over in Atlanta? Sure. What's that? <laughs> if well, he ever gets pulled over in Atlanta, he has somebody there for him. Well, no, I mean, I've been up there. I mean, I've, I've been on, I've been in your studio. I mean, I've been on the A, um, the O and A show before. Um, Visiting Jimmy. You know, when I, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, all right. Well, so <laughs> you, you got a buddy here, Fez. If you want to hear the F word, that's your big problem, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't like the word, Chris. All right. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thanks for visiting. All right. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, this is the Ron and Fez show. Your chance to win our March Madness. And March Madness, when it starts, it's so funny how excited everyone is. And then with two games, it drops off because people are so bummed out that their goddamn uh, picks have shit to bed already. I can't get enough of it when it starts. And just just trying to figure Who out... Who are you picking to win it all? I'm looking at Wichita just because they got that number one seed. Because of Wichita the lineman? That too. Well, who are you picking, Shelby, to win it all? Florida. Gators. I was looking at the Gators too. Um, since I got Nets floor uh, seats on the line, I'm going. Uh, I'm taking number ones all the way through my final four with Florida winning. Can we all bring dates? 
No, it's just for us guys. I thought it'd be fun to uh, just double the price of this thing. I'm Plus, down. you know me, I like to keep my feet up. Well, I could bring a footstool or something. I don't think we need to bring an extra, uh, buy an extra seat. Is the gay guy still playing for the Nets? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna be there for the rest of the season. I'm gonna heckle him. I got the perfect one. I just got it from Chris. Hey, faggot! <laughs> What's up, faggot? <laughs> <laughs> that could be great for everybody. But that helps you, though, right? No, it doesn't help me hearing it over and over again. And it's starting as a chant at a game isn't going to help either. What's up, <laughs> faggot? What's up, faggot? Oh, the Barclays Center is rocking tonight in Brooklyn. Um, Charlie, you're on the run of Fez show. Ronnie B, that guy physically threw himself at Fez. He talked sex. He talked friends. He did everything but Fezzy, please really? tell my phone number. I think sex grosses Fez out. A hundred percent. He does not want any part of the physical act. He wants to hold hands. He wants to go to dinner. He wants to watch wrestling. But the sex part is the remotest thing from his mind. Uh, I would agree Why with you. Why does it upset you so much, sir? Fez, that well, guy can bang you and blow you at the same time. Because, yeah. here, because here's the thing, Fez. Every time a guest comes in here, it turns into the advice show with Fez and how to help him get dating. And if a guy comes up and starts saying, oh, this is what I do sexually, and you're just treating it as if it's nothing, you don't come off as a gay. Like if a woman come, came in here yeah. and she starts saying, oh, I like to fucking couple guys' balls while I'm fucking riding him and he's giving me anal, we'd all be, we'd picture ourselves as that. Mm-hmm. We would, huh? You mean here? Right here on this? But Fez just took it as, yeah, oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird that you can pull that off. Do this in a bed? <laughs> Fez got 99 problems and sex is one. Hit me! <laughs> if you got guy f- problems, I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> Fez got 99 problems and sex is one. Hit me! That's great. Uh, it's the Ron and Fez show. Here's Tony. Tony in Brooklyn. You're on the Ron and Fez show. First of all, can you imagine the visual of Fez and Bruce Valanche having sex? No. That would be oof. But uh, getting back to this bet. Now, Fez owes you how many dinners, Ron? Like 29 or 30 dinners? How many is it? Uh, 28. Well, we did that. The near defense that we just went to that one. Oh, thank 27, you. Twenty-seven. Huh? Yeah. Shelby, what are you doing? <laughs> thank We're you, running Shelby. Out. We're running out. Would, would this uh, next dinner? Would that include dinner? And that would that be part of the twenty-eight, or would this be twenty-nine? Well, no. We'll actually stop for one of the twenty-eights on the way there. If we're going to be in Brooklyn, best steakhouse in the country in BK. I know where we're going, Fez. Oh hell yeah! Shut. Slow that limo down. <laughs> 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 I don't remember throwing a limo in on this. Well, well, you assume we don't want to go over there like a couple of strap hangers. No, no, we got to go over there like ballers. We're going to the court side. We're not going on a goddamn subway. It's yeah. a Hummer limo, too. It's oh, yeah. Giant. Classy. Yeah, we got to get a giant one. <laughs> uh, make sure you uh, bet in our March Madness. It's free, and you can win the Kevin Durant signed basketball. Kevin Durant signed basketball. Exciting. Fez, I wish there was a name to put a way to put your name in red so it would be easy to find you. So everyone can follow up. Just look on the front page. I'll be there the whole tournament. Even the front page has got 50 names on it. I think we're already up over 1,000. Yeah. So you've got to finish 50, top 50 out of 1,000, which already means you have to be in the top 5%. You've got to be right there in the top 5% to come out on this. And I don't know whether you ate too much of Pete's candy to pull this off properly. 
There wasn't that much to begin with. Yeah, I wanted to meet your dad, and I missed him by two minutes, really. Yeah, look like he had somewhere to be. I never have anywhere to be, dude. I have to fucking rush home to come back here. He ne he never wanted you to meet him. I, I, I walked into him. You know why? I'd tell the truth. I would tell the truth about Shelby. That's true. Chris and I weren't introduced. We just happened to be going down the hallway, and Shelby came around the corner with his dad. What'd you do? Have your mouth open like a fucking whale out there <laughs> chewing algae? Just get some candy to fall in? Well, I would tell him, I'm worried about Shelby socializing with people his age. I don't see you dating. Uh, busy. I, I mean, we're resources. all teasing Fez about being an ass and cock virgin, but... You're not doing much better. What's up, faggot? <laughs> that happened fast. <laughs> I know. Drop That's that really place. fast production. Yeah. Compared to other things around here. But he gotta be like that. If it's homophobic, he's really quick on the draw. It's not what we were talking about. What's up, faggot? Ow, faggot. Ow, down, 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 down. Um... So you're taking Florida win it all. Yep. They've been the lead eight like three straight years, so... I know. Might as well pack up a championship for that. After a certain point. And, you know, it's always like those players always end up leaving and going to the pros, so they're kind of restarting. You know, we sat around and talked about what team is best at football and basketball. Now I'm thinking it's Florida. Your Michigan State was really right on except for... I don't think they do enough in football. Yeah, they. I mean, I can't think of when they won the Big Ten. So, yeah, there's always people ahead of them to challenge just for the conference title. Duke is attempting to put together a uh, football program. Yeah. Uh, what about Texas? They yeah. always seem to do well in both. It's got to be a massive school. If it's USC, yeah. I think, makes a run at both. UCLA could be uh, thrown yeah. in as caring. Not really at the top of either place anymore, but competitive in both. Notre Dame attempted for a few years. Now they gave up both sports. <laughs> they don't even care anymore. Well, they're doing really well in communion. <laughs> There's a kid that went in and had 18. 18 wafers. What? What? What's up, faggot? <laughs> that really bothers me, Fuzz. Yeah. That you, you and your thank friend Chris you for that. Yeah, thank you for being bothered by it. Instead of giggling about it. Steve, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, did you hear about the new hashtag trending in America? What's up? It's, what's up, faggot? Don't do that. I don't think it's something the show wants to be known for. Uh, Brent in Iowa, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey guys, just wanted to tell us that Michigan State won the Big Ten last year. Did they? Football. Yep. Hmm. So they're a threat in both, right? Well, that's right. Yeah, they went to the Rose Bowl. You're right. I thought yeah. I thought you gave up watching college football. Well, I guess I did because I couldn't remember that fact. What are you writing up in there? Just trying to see what's trending right now. <laughs> don't worry about what's trending. I don't want to trend every five seconds. It's important. I don't want it to be important. I don't want to tweet my Instagram. Um, Tyler, Sacramento. Ronnie, uh, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, especially over the past ten years, they both had really good uh, football and basketball programs. You know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Blake Griffin came out of Oklahoma. Their football team's always up there in Oklahoma State. That's a team you just don't want to play, especially with that one kid going around pushing fans. I think it's a good call. I think he, I think he pulled it off. Now Oklahoma finally has a pro team that might win it all. Yeah. Oklahoma. This is what it should have been like. License plate. Oklahoma. We're no longer the steers and queers joke. I don't think they'd print that. How about this? Oklahoma. We suck championships, not cocks. Oklahoma. That could get at least like one of those wraparound bumper stickers. I'd definitely love to be fucking governor of Oklahoma. I'd probably just go there with a lighter and fucking people would think I was a god. It can't be hard to <laughs> run that fucking place. <laughs> Where's some place that you feel like you could go and run if you showed up there? 
Fez, what? I'm going to go to you first. If you just showed up, you feel like you'd be the fucking hippest guy in town. Uh, Wasilla, Alaska. Okay, short answer. Based on the Sarah Palin? Yeah, just uh, uh, that town could obviously... There's nobody there. You could run it very easily. Um, George and Austin, you're on the Run of Fez show. What's up, guys? Sound like a million bucks. Thanks. Um, I have a little story about what up, faggot. So I'm, I'm drunk in Atlantic one time. I leave uh, this club and I go in Austin. I yell at these guys, yo, what up, faggots? And they look at me all puzzled, like, are you talking to us? I was like, y'all the only faggots here? And bing, boom, bang, they whooped my ass right in front of a cop. Were they gay guys? No, they weren't. I don't know why. I said it was sort of like a turn of endearment for guys. Like, what up, bro? I was like, what up, faggots? And uh, next thing I knew, they kicked my ass. Bing, pow, boom. You should see his life as he was out there. Yeah. Matt Rochester, you're on the Run Fez show. Fez said they didn't remember the last time Michigan State won the Big Ten in football. They just won it this year. Jesus Christ, Fez. They just won. Oh, what the hell is this? I wish someone had Come called on, and man. told me that. Wayne in Chicago. Hey, Ron, I just wanted to throw uh, Ohio State in there. They're uh, they're pretty good at basketball and football. I don't know if we're looking for pretty good. We were looking for the best program overall, the best one-two punch. And I don't think we can get outside of Florida right now. No, they, I think Florida wins it. They won those back-to-back in basketballs like six years ago. Yeah. Then they had that net football, too. Yeah, don't fucking forget they came out with a young Christian boy who fucking took over the NFL and taught us all how to T-ball. Holy shit. It looks like that that 707 has showed up at the Newark airport. Everybody just jumping off and doing fucking great. Oh According God. to them, they were just lost. They just know what the fuck they were doing. Why were you guys freaking out so bad? Oh, we turned off the transponder so that we could all plug in our fucking headphones. We couldn't do both. We didn't want to worry you. Let me ask you something about the transponder. The reason of that is so they'll always know where the airplane is, right? Okay. Right. Why do they have an off button? Why would you ever have an off button? That We could track this anywhere unless it's hijacked. It's sort of like in uh, every, like... You know, Bond movie, there's a self-destruct button on everything that this whole building is going to blow up in five minutes. I just don't fucking get it. The entire point of this is to always know where the plane is. And it works right up until there's a fucking hijack. Why wouldn't you want to know where the plane is? Um... Here's uh, Brian. You're on the Run of Fez show. Brian. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, Sorry. I can hear you on the fucking radio. <laughs> yeah, right. Fez keeps saying that uh, he can't remember the last time Michigan State won anything. They won the Big Ten Championship and the Rose Bowl, and they just won Big Ten Championship in basketball. You know, Fezzy, you're fucking leaving out Michigan State. Yeah, I wish there was just somebody who would call and correct me. Just one person. They've been kicking ass and taking fucking names, you subtle bastard. (laughs) You ought to be fucking crawling on your belly right now, asking for forgiveness for those fucking Spartans. So, Fezzy, do you already fill yours out? No, I haven't filled mine out yet. I am doing research. I'm not going to go into this haphazard. I'll get it filled out tonight. All right, I'm telling all these people to join, and you haven't done it yet. Oh, I'm in. You can you say openly Fez Wat- openly gay Fez Watley. I'm oh, in there. Oh, my God. Uh, I am in the group. Uh, I'm in it. Uh, Shelby Lynn is straight. So look um, for me on there, too. Look me up One of as, us is lying. Look me up as, what's up, faggot? <laughs> Don't use that as a... Game ID. What's up, faggot? He actually sounds a lot tougher saying it than, than me. Um, JR in Oklahoma, you're on the run of Fez show. Yeah, why don't they have GPS like cell phones on these damn airplanes? How hard is it? They know where, like, I'm a toothless redneck and they can always find me. How come they can't find a 777? You know, JR, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Apparently. That plane never crashed. Somewhere, it's sitting with tree branches all over it, like Marty's fucking DeLorean, behind a giant sign, and no one can find it. Then they load it up with nukes, 
and they're going to come flying it in to the fucking West Village. That's the plan. We know the fucking plan. Why nuke the West Village? My neighborhood. Well, everything's going to get hit, Fez. You're just going to fucking burn first. Ground Zero. He's going to be lucky. He won't survive. You'll be one of the lucky ones. The living will fucking wish they were you. I'll be in a story of fucking slowly dying of radiation poisoning. It's going to be awful. Uh, What's different? Uh, <laughs> my face is burning. I'm going to run down the fucking, fucking street naked like the name palm girl with my little fucking hairless <laughs> vagina. <laughs> How come the napalm girl isn't considered kitty porn? Put some fucking hot pants on her. Oh, it's under that journalism umbrella bullshit. It's too hot. Here's Bunny in Tampa. Hey, Fez. I don't know if you remember this, but also last year, Mich Michigan State won Publishers Clearinghouse. How the fuck did you oh, miss that, Fez? Yeah. He did fucking great. That's you right, never even bring him on the, even once. The big check was at the university door. Damn. What is with you, Fez? In other words... What's up, faggot? That's what they're saying right now in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. <laughs> I don't understand how the fucking Irish could be anti-gay when they all look gay to me. Morning. Fucking red hair, freckles. The only thing they're missing is a face full of cum. <laughs> <laughs> Do they wear kilts or... Oh, no, it's Scotland. Oh, what are sucking and fucking and licking and ch <laughs> sucking and fucking and licking and picking? Fucking crazy animals. Look, they don't come off as gay. They fucking cry when they drink. They love their moms. They fucking worship their moms. They piss the bed at night. First Pearl Baptist should be love rainbows. And Focus they're ready to fight at a fucking drop of a hat. Hmm. Queer nation. <laughs> Ireland, more like Queer Nation. <laughs> what are they doing for fucking Phelps? What's the family? Is the family with him? When Fred Phelps um, uh, dies, we ought to go protest this fucking funeral. <laughs> and just write another dead fag. He's <laughs> <laughs> dead outside the house. <laughs> oh, oh, do 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 so you're going to be in the gay pride parade this year? Well, I haven't made any plans yet, but yeah, a return to a float would be fantastic. I'm not going to march. It's just too hot and too long. Mm. Fred Phelps was excommunicated this past August. What took him so long? <laughs> he got sick. Well, things have to go properly, and we wanted to see what was going on with that Noah movie that Chris loves so much. <laughs> uh, Marlon, you're on the Run of Face show. Hey, guys, uh, Fez fucked up. Uh, Michigan State just won an Emmy like two weeks ago for Best Picture. They, uh... An Emmy, huh? You are... The thing about the Michigan State is they're the only college in America with the EGOT. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Let it go. Let it go. I haven't even fucking understand that song why people love it so much um here's justin in collins road you're on ron fez show the transponders on planes have uh switches is that everything in the cockpit has an on off switch and the reason for that is one of the most dangerous things you can have uh in the cockpit is an electrical fire so they need to be able to the way it's built it's segmented so you can quickly shut down that area and put the fire out without having to shut down everything else, like, you know, the flight controls and everything. Just keep the thing on so we know where it is. I'll tell you, so far, Anthony's been the only person I, I believe in. I believe it's in Pakistan for real. Or Pakistan, as Obama and Chris Stanley say. Yeah, Pakistan. That's, you know, that's how it's supposed to be said, man. Chicken Pakistan. Uh, Irish guy in Boston. Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, you guys are terrible. You're even worse today than usual, but, I mean, come on, man. With all that shit about the Irish, come on. All oh, their shitting and fucking and farting and fucking and shitting and fucking and farting and fucking. You're the only, even the Boston goddamn mayor won't go to their parade. 
It's a train wreck out there. And we, we're watching on the TV. There's no one there. You know why? Guinness ain't there. Heineken. <laughs> Sam Adams. They're going to have to gay the fucking parade up to get their booze back. You guys want all your liquor. As usual, Irish guys, you're going to have to blow someone earlier in the night. <laughs> But seriously, Fez, with the amount of bitching that the gays do, uh-huh. you're going to have people disliking you more and more. You can't force your way into a party that somebody doesn't want you to be at. The party's supposed to be for everybody. No, it isn't. It's a fucking St. Patrick's. I, they don't even let the Protestants into that fucking parade. Mm. This was an Irish Catholic parade from day one. You got to give it to them. Let them have your day. Then you got the gay day. Where you guys are down there, you're wearing fucking short shorts. Dancing. Yeah. Grinding. Keep, like they say in keep those... Keep talking. No oldies. The exact opposite of the oldies. Um, Mark, you're on the Run of Fest show. Hey, Ron. Hey, Fez. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say two quick things. The first thing is the uh, number one in basketball and football is Florida State, not Florida. Um, the second thing is just about the whole Malaysia flight thing. Uh, to be honest with you, it's just a diversion from the government, man. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy guy, but to be honest with you, it's just something to fuck with your head so they can go into um, Ukraine and Russia and deal with that shit while we're occupied worried about a fucking plane. I don't know whether just, anybody uh, saw the Vice program over the weekend. Yeah, I saw it. But you want to know why we're broke? Look at the money we've wasted in fucking Afghanistan. Look at the hundred and billion dollar fucking aid that we've wasted in Afghanistan. Might as well just burnt that cash. It's It was fucking terrible. Or basically giving it to the terrorist. Because that's where it all fucking ends up. And again, why is Vice doing this? And not MSNBC. Why is Vice being able to pull this documentary off and not CNN or Fox News? You're an embarrassment, news people. You know, somebody tweeted something kind of offensive, so they got to get on that. Do me a favor. Retweet that. Okay. I want to retweet everything that's offensive, because then we'll get retweeted. Everyone, please retweet our tweets and then retweet those retweets. Tweet the retweet. Tweet, tweet the retweets. Yeah, well, hold on. Tweet Let's do the it again. retweets. Luckily, we've taped this show, so you can take it from the top. Go ahead. Tweet the retweets. I'd rather that they retweeted the tweets. But then those retweets, tweet those. But wouldn't you retweet those? <laughs> you got to retweet I look the retweets. At this. Look at this. There's more people in Times Square shopping than there is at the fucking Irish Gay Day parades. By the way, I'm just saying to that guy in Boston, I'm sorry if we offended you. Don't pay any attention to us. Drive off, have gay sex, and call us tomorrow. And we'll send you into the prize closet. I have the, uh, the live feed of the music they're playing okay. down here at the... <laughs> All right, that's the St. Patrick's Day parade go by. It's one of the marching bands. Kurt, in Orlando, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys, Maha Bone. Maha. All right, you got to put this to bed because it's got to be Florida for one reason and one reason only. No other team in school history in the history of NCAA has held the national title in football and basketball at the same time. They won back-to-back -back in 06 and 07 in uh, basketball and uh, 08 and 06 in football. Modern gods. Modern gods. Florida Gators. See, we all do that gator fucking thing like that. Chomp, chomp. Yeah, you just turn your clap sideways and you're like, oh, look at me, I'm a gator. I chomp, chomp. Why, you tell me, Shelby, why your dad's candy mm -hmm. for everyone would Fez decide just belonging to him? Ah. Uh. I don't know. We just gave it to him. I thought it was cigars at first, the way it was packaged. That would have been fantastic. It was just truffles. Truffles have ridges. 